Jamaica Society for the Blinds Tech Tips. Welcome back to Tech Tips. Tech tips. Tech tips. This week, we will take a look at another fairly new camera app, Super Sense. As promised, we have a guest to demonstrate the use of this app. This week's guest is Rayon DJ Ray Campbell. Now, what is Super Sense and what's its purpose? Now, the Super Sense app is meant to be an aid for blind people exploring their indoor settings. That means it's designed to look out for things like doors, chairs, people, windows, whatever else around the house. It's also meant to help with reading um, and image or text recognition in photos. Now, SuperSense tries to be more like what iOS users will be familiar with, with seeing AI and iOS and Android users will be familiar with um, Envision AI. So you can explore on the go while scanning the camera around. Let us now take a look at the home screen of the app. Right, so across the screen, going from left to right, this screen is in portrait mode. I am going to go from left to right, Selected top read. of the Selected screen. Read text. Selected read. Select read text. It comes Double up to as the default one. Read to read text. And that means that you can find a piece of text, press the start button, and it will start to read. Explore. Select to explore what is around. Explore. Double tap to activate. This one, of course, you scan around with your camera and you are able to see uh, through the lens of your phone uh, what might be around you, what SuperSense is able to pick up around you. Find. Select to find a specific object. Select to, to find a specific object. Um, now, it's not infinite, the amount of things that you can find with SuperSense. There are categories in there which you can select, like persons or chairs or doors. And the camera, once one you start scanning around, it will vibrate and announce that you have found that. Let us now take a look at a few of the features within the app. Double tap to activate. Okay, so I'm going to go to explore. Explore. Select to explore. Explore. Select to explore. What's around? Dead. Okay, so it says I'm exploring Dead. environment. Please scan around. And it's Dead. reading already. It's, got, it's found a bed. No plane. Uh, there are no airplanes here. So I'm not really sure what it, it seems to have seen. No plane. Studio couch. It's not a studio couch. Four. It's actually a drawers. Four. That's it. Four. Door. Yeah, oh. it's a door to a wardrobe. Let's see. Clothing. Clothing, yes. Of course. Because it's hanging out Clothing. on the door. Alright, let's try this. Table. That's not a table. Yeah. That is a box. Alright. Man. Man, that's me. <laughs> Man. Fish. Interestingly, it's Close telling up. you it's scanned a fish. It's Muscle. not a fish. It's Close a up. picture on a shower curtain. Let's do this. Let's go to something else. Find. Select to find a specific object. Person category. Person, human face and more. All right. Double tap to activate. So, finding a person. Uh, that's one of the categories in find. What else is there? Seat category. Seat, chair and more. Seat, Double tap to activate. chair and more. So anything resembling a seat or a chair, it will find. Door category. Door and door handle. Door and door Double tap handle. to activate. Stairs category. Stairs and ladder. Stairs Double and tap ladder. to activate. Trash can category, trash can and waste container. Trash can Double tap and to waste activate. container. Vehicle category, car, bicycle and more. Car, Double bicycle tap to activate. and more. You practice this on the road and you might find that the car will find you before you find it. So don't do that. Okay? Whatever you do. Bathroom category, toilet, sink and more. Bathroom, Double tap to toilet, activate. sink. All right. Kitchen category, kettle, microwave and more. Kitchen Double kettle, tap to activate. microwave. No, let's have a look around the kitchen. kitchen. Um, I am in the kitchen. My kitchen is well used, um, so there's stuff lying around at the moment, so this should be interesting. Find. Select to find a specific object. Kitchen category. Kettle. Kitchen. I am looking for items in kitchen category. Please stand around. All right. So. Gas stove. It's saying it's a gas stove. It's not a gas stove, but it is a stove, and it's pretty close. Uh, so that's table. spot on. That's not table. a table. That's just a kitchen vibe. Light bulb. Okay, it's saying light bulb. It's not quite a light bulb. It's actually a kettle. Shelf. Shelf. Right. Ah, 
It recognized coffee. That's nice. Okay, let's do this. Refrigerator. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure that makes any sense. I had to open the refrigerator for it to recognize it as a refrigerator. Let's go. So let's try some text. Select a retext. Okay. Now see, these are unfortunately things that can come, become quite um, annoying. Um, More message edit. How can we make this up better for you? Back button. The review just popped up right in the middle of using the stop app. Now, uh, that, unfortunately, I could not stop that. It just popped up. But, as I was saying, I'm going to try some text reading. Now, the problem I have is that you will have to have your text ready before you select text reading because the start button activates as soon as you select your preference personally i would have preferred if you get the option to wait and then start but you can go down to the bottom of the screen around the middle um of the bottom of the screen and you can press the pause button and that will stop everything all right so i'm going to see if i got any text i don't know if i have any close to hand but i'm going to see all right, so not as successful as uh, I would have liked. It does seem to issue a lot of directions, uh, but no matter what I did, I uh, could not get that right. I suspect lighting as well might have a lot to do with that. Uh, always check in your menus that your flashlight is on auto. So it will go on if it needs to, but even that sometimes does not solve the problem. Now, I'm not going to say that that means it doesn't work. Uh, it works differently for different people and maybe with the directions that they give you, uh, you might get better results than I did. Here is DJ Ray's views on the app. It turns out that some of the things, the kitchen category needs uh, it needs work. It turns out that some of the things have to be sort of blatantly obvious, like the refrigerator, for instance. I had to open it to recognize it. Yeah, that needs work. But it's it's got great potential, the app. And I'm guessing, I'm hoping that there will be improvements to come with the SuperSense app. I must say that premium features, some of the premium features they have, uh, things like continuous long document reading, uh, that's a premium feature. Cache recognition is also a premium feature. Uh, there are a couple more, but some of the ones that I have examined so far, they are all free. And I do believe uh, that they will remain free for, at least for now. SuperSense is a fairly good camera app for use indoors. Please install it, try it, and leave a comment in our comment section and thanks to DJ Ray for this week's demonstration. Thank you. Jamaica Society for the Blind's Tech Tips Empowering the Blind and Visually Impaired through Technology Want more of these weekly tech tips? Then subscribe to this channel. Leave your comments, like and share tips. This has been a production of the JSB Library.